What is up? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to another Ableton Live. Very quick tip. Um, I was working on this track for the next installment of free construction packs for you guys. You can go ahead and check this out real quick. And I decided I was going to use this to show you a couple of quick tips. And this one is on this bad boy right here. I've had Ableton Live since Ableton Live 4. And I'm not sure when they added this and how I missed it. But it is awesome. So usually, oh, first things first, go ahead and download the source files. I'm going to give away this, uh, this patch for Massive, which is like a grungy mid-range bass. And also a wow filter preset and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on well first let's solo this and go it's the high-end sound one if you downloaded from the last video tutorial and you don't want the massive patch but you do want the sugar bites patch it's the same one from the last uh, video tutorial but anyway go ahead and down it only takes about a second uh, so first thing you go here we go this is what it sounds like with the high-end sound on <laughs> It's got that little bouncing sound to it. Um, and let's say I want to edit some of these automation lines. And usually I would come in and go to wow. And uh, if I click on cutoff, it would change to cutoff. And then I could edit these inside with these lines and stuff, which is fun. But if I press this button, it sends the automation line below. And then I can add another automation line. So say if I wanted to mess with the over drive hit that down and then I can mess with the overdrive down here Boom, and it will keep it all up so I can still see what's going on and if I wanted to come into um, say massive and come over here and med mess with the feed it boom and mess with the spread and if you look what happened here um, when I hit spread it changed the massive device to on. So there's a couple of ways to get around that issue. So if I go ahead and get rid of this, and now I'm on spread, if I edit some of the lines in here, and then hit down, and then come up here to feed it, and then edit some of these lines, it won't change. Uh, it won't switch to device on down here. So it will keep the effects. But another way to get around that is to do what I said before, which is come over to the device, hit this little arrow, hit configure, and then add whatever you want to use to that down there. Close this, and then hit configure. And then it won't switch. So I can actually select them from here. And uh, that's another way to do it. So it won't, um, it won't change. But now I can edit automate all of these lines all at once instead of having to come over here and switch through and it, that could be a pain in the butt but this is just sweet so I mean uh, that's obviously sounding like crap because I didn't listen while I was doing it or anything but uh, I just wanted to point this out these buttons to you and then if you hit minus uh, it will take away and give you screen realty back but it will keep the whatever you've changed and you can obviously switch back and forth so use this button it's awesome talk to you later